Have you ever dreamed of having a mansion? A big lavish house with all the amenities? Well, in the Bible, there is a verse where Jesus tells us he's going to prepare a place for us and that in his Father's house are many mansions. Did Jesus mean that we would all get our very own mansion in heaven? Let's take a look and find out. We're going to start in the Gospel of John chapter 14, where Jesus is talking to the disciples. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go you know, and the way you know. It's in these verses that we find the word mansion, which is where many Christians have gotten the idea that we're going to receive our very own when we go to heaven. The question we need to answer is if this is an accurate interpretation of scripture. And the first thing we need to do is analyze the verses leading up to John 14. In John chapter 13, there are several well-known events that happen in the final hours of Christ, such as the Last Supper and Jesus identifying who his betrayer would be. Among the prophecies that the Lord made in John 13, we find one in verse 33 that says, Little children, I shall be with you a little while longer. You will seek me, and as I said to the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Not too long after this, the Son of Man goes to the cross to pay the penalty for mankind's sin so that we can be forgiven and have eternal life. But what does this have to do with mansions in heaven? Remember, Jesus was preparing to go somewhere that his disciples, who usually followed him everywhere, could not go. He wasn't talking about heaven, he was talking about the cross of Calvary. The Lord's interaction with Thomas in John 13 verses 5 through 6 confirmed this. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. We know that there's only one Jesus, and only he could be the precious Lamb of God who was slain for humanity. None of the apostles could do that. Redemption alone comes through Jesus Christ. Getting back to the idea of mansions, there are too many men and women who read about getting a glamorous home in heaven, and we get this sense of entitlement about what we're supposed to get for being followers of Christ. If the motivation for your faith is you thinking you get a massive house when you go to heaven, then you're not only missing the point of what Jesus said about many mansions, but you're missing the point of your relationship with God altogether. The word mansion in John 14 is not talking about a sprawling estate with a 30 bedroom house, an indoor pool, or a basketball court out back. Mansion in this context means dwelling place or many places in which to abide. This is the literal Greek translation of the word mansion. So what was Jesus actually saying? To get a better understanding, let's look at a verse from Colossians chapter 2. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Let's also look at Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 through 8 which says, Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. With these two verses, we can form a pretty good idea of who Jesus is. He is the embodiment of heaven in human form. Knowing that the fullness of God dwells in Jesus, let's take a closer look at John 14 too. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. What is the Father's house? The Father's house is heaven. It's the fullness of the presence of God. Yet when Jesus was still here on the earth, didn't heaven empty itself in Christ? So by all accounts, Jesus is the house. Acts 17 drives this point home when it says, For in him we live and move and have our being. As certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. My point in all of this is that the mansion God promised us is not a big house that Jesus went to heaven to build for us. Our mansion is our position and place in Christ, heirs to the promises of God and to eternal life. I don't know about you, but I would take that over a big fancy house any day. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you agree with what we're doing here and want to stay connected, then please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to check out our new book, The Butterfly Bee, which is available on Amazon. As always, keep finding a good fight of faith and have a blessed day.